Want to see something cool? For a Sparky, I sure spend a hell of a lot of time with a shovel in my hand. One of the first things you learn is that pipe is cheap. It's the holes that are expensive. And in the modern constructed environment, we have more bullshit drama and problems hidden just beneath the surface than an HOA meeting. Most stuff is easy to find. A quick call to Miss Diggle prevent you from making the rainbow spaghetti most of the time, or having me show up to your house to make you cry over the smoking hole that's gonna cost you more than a new car. But sewer lines are a bit of a bitch to locate. I don't know why they don't get tracer lines run for them like gas lines do. I mean, really, how many shitty situations do we need before someone codifies this as common sense? So how do you find a plastic poop pipe hidden under your yard? With science, of course, and this fucking thing. You need two people. One gets a snake that's equipped with a wildlife tractor, and their buddy gets a snazzy directional antenna array that looks like if Matt Jeffries and Colin Cantwell got a gig at Bad Dragon. Given that one guy's dealing with raw sewage and the other's baking in the sun, you can take odds on who drew the short straw today. It's a really cool system, though, and can not only locate the pipe in X, Y, but Z as well. The only way to find a pipe faster is when the backhoe operator is having a fight with his wife on a Friday afternoon. In half an hour, we had it all staked out. By the way, here's a fun little tidbit to know. When you see a stake like this with numbers on it, those numbers are callouts for the depth of the pipe, feet, then inches. And now you know what those stakes are for. When you see the green lines on your street, that's for sewer. Blue for water, yellow for gas, and personally, I think I'll stick with red. But my excavator is colorblind, and that's pretty cool. 